Hi, I'm Sean Hader, writer and director of CODA, and this is how I did it. I just fell in love with the idea of this character this hearing girl who was raised within deaf culture and is sort of a bridge between the deaf world and the hearing world and part of both worlds, but also part of neither. I've never done anything without my family before. I always knew that there was a place in the story where I wanted to put the audience in the deaf perspective and immerse the audience in, in what that was like. The concert scene, you know, the audience has a set of expectations going into that scene. You've watched Ruby rehearse this song over and over multiple times and you're waiting to hear what comes out of her. And yet at the moment where Ruby steps up to sing, I wanted to suck out the sound, turn the camera on extras in the audience, and have Ruby's parents, Frank and Jackie, kind of looking to strangers to understand what's happening with their daughter in that moment. I wanted to take that experience away from the audience of her voice. And it was a challenge in the edit. I mean, I think we recut that scene over and over and over again so that we could really live with her parents and her brother and be in their perspective watching Ruby. I will go where you lead, always there in We were recording live on set and I remember the moment where she went to sing she hit this note she's never hit before, and she kind of looked at me like, oh my god, I can't believe I did that. And I gave her a big thumbs up, like, oh my god, you did it! And I remember thinking, oh wow, I'm gonna take this out. Nobody's ever gonna hear this except us in this room right now. And that actually felt powerful, like my own desire to want to share what had happened with her voice in that moment. That to me was the very reason that I had to take it away from the audience and take it away from myself, to really be with them, be in their perspective. You've lived with this family, you've fallen in love with them, you feel like you know them, and yet you don't know what it's like to be them. And so that was the important shift at that moment in the film. You know, I had learned to sign. I was communicating with my actors in a language that I was new to. Human to human, we're here, we're focused. I'm gonna sign sometimes if I don't know the sign. I'm gonna make up a gesture. I'm gonna pantomime or I'm gonna use my body or the emotions on my face. And trying to express my vision and give an actor a note and yet use my body to do that was a really, intense and exciting experience that I would really hope to carry forward with me.